Hey everyone, and welcome to AI Cameron. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of AI art generation. Have you ever wondered how a computer program would interpret and recreate something as familiar as a logo? Logos are everywhere, instantly recognizable symbols that define brands and companies. But can a machine learn to remember them from scratch? Let's find out with the AI Draws Logos from Memory Challenge. Today's challenge is simple. We'll be feeding a powerful AI art generation program the names of well-known logos. The AI has never seen these logos before, and its task is to use its knowledge and understanding of the world to create visual representations based solely on the name. We'll be testing Midjourney AI with a variety of logos, from iconic tech brands to classic fast food joints. Will it be able to capture the essence of these logos based on just their names? Well, let's put the theory to action. All right, first things first, we're heading over to Midjourney, the powerful AI art program we'll be using for this challenge. If you're curious about trying Midjourney yourself, we've got a quick setup guide linked above in the video description. Now that we're in Midjourney, let's take a look. As you can see, we're feeding it the name of the first logo on our list, Apple. With the name as its only clue, Midjourney will analyze the information and start generating its interpretation of this well-known logo. This process can take a few seconds or minutes, depending on the complexity of the logo. Let's see what the AI comes up with. Wow, interesting. This is what Midjourney has come up with for Apple. Pretty similar, almost perfect to be honest. What do you think? Let's make a quick comparison so we can analyze closely. Other than the added chrome effect added to the AI version, I would say these are almost identical. You know what, I've got an idea, let's lay one over the other to see how close this really is. It's not perfect, but couldn't be much closer. I just find it interesting how the AI doesn't try to recreate the official logo exactly without any stylizing. This could be achieved with a more guided prompt, but for the purpose of this experiment, I wanted to keep the phrasing simple and consistent. This challenge highlights the limitations of AI art. While it can be impressive in its ability to generate creative visuals, it still relies heavily on the data it's trained on and the wording of the prompt. Without specific details or brand recognition, the AI might come up with unexpected interpretations. Let's see what Midjourney comes up with our next very known logo, Nike. Okay, just as before, we're going to enter the prompt with nothing more than the brand name and the word logo. Let's give it a crack and see how Midjourney does with this one. All right, these are looking awesome. Midjourney has given us a nice variety here, actually. Image one is a great representation of the official logo, nice and plain, while the others have definitely taken on Nike's brand identity in the styling. That's impressive. To really put Midjourney to the test, we generated prompts for a whopping 50 well-known logos. That gives us a nice pool of data to analyze later and see how Midjourney interprets different brand identities. We won't have time to go through all 50 together, but don't worry. We'll tackle one more logo side by side, and then I'll fast forward through the rest so you can see the full range of Midjourney's creations. So next up I gave the McDonald's logo a go, the classic M, and here's the result. I'm not sure what image one is exactly, but the rest are really good. Let's move on to the comparison. If they wasn't side by side, I'm not sure I would be able to tell them apart. What do you think? To ensure we were giving Midjourney the best shot at success, we started with a list of the most popular logos worldwide. This list, helpfully generated by Gemini, focused on logos with a high chance of being well represented in the AI's training data. However, as I ventured into logos with potentially less widespread recognition, the challenge became more evident. Some well-known names like PayPal, BBC, and Lego yielded surprisingly strange results. We'll explore a few of these unexpected interpretations later in the video. But first, let's see how Midjourney tackles some of these highly recognizable global logos. Oh yeah, and if you think you're a brand recognition pro, put your skills to the test with the AI Draws Logos Challenge. I've created a separate video linked above where you can try to guess which versions of popular logos were actually drawn by AI. It's a fun way to explore the results of this challenge and see how well you know your brands. All 50 logos are featured in the challenge video, so be sure to check it out and see if you can outsmart the AI. Links are above and in the description below. 
Alright, that's enough talk for now. Let's fast forward and see how Midjourney tackles the rest of these logos. While you vibe out to the beats, feel free to pause the video if you want to take a closer look at any particular logo. And of course, if any questions or thoughts pop into your head as you watch, leave a comment below. We'd love to hear what you think.
Thanks for watching the AI Draws Logos from Memory Challenge. It's been a fun exploration of the capabilities and limitations of AI art generation. It shows that while AI can be creative, it still has a long way to go in terms of fully understanding and replicating human-made symbols. Personally, I don't think it will be long before it figures this out. It will be interesting to revisit this in a year from now and see how things have improved. If you're intrigued as I am with all of the AI innovation, be sure to leave your thoughts and comments in the description below so we can keep the conversation going. Check out the AI Draws playlist for more AI-mazing experiments. Catch you on the next one.